All right, today is uh, 27th of March, and so I get an update on all the bamboo, and especially two in bamboos, because since we're moving pretty soon, don't have that many bamboos left. And this is a uh, Dendrocalmus sinicus. We're at the top. There's actually new shoots that are coming up a little bit past the canopy, so I'm thinking probably topping off right around 11 feet right up there. It's really hard to tell. Could still be growing a little bit more, but one thing I find is when there's a whole lot of them coming up, for the most part, most of the new shoots are on average a little bit bigger than the previous ones, but not by very much, and there's a lot of them. So it's probably maybe about 15 shoots that I'd consider new. So there's literally just about one shoot per existing culminate there's. And here's one of the ones that's still kind of shorter. This one's still maybe two and a half feet tall. But as you see, it's probably just a little bit bigger than uh, the previous ones. And the problem with only being a little bit bigger, bigger and Having so many of them is the uh, energy get gets dispersed so much, so this literally turns it into a screening type bamboo, and there's not a whole lot of upsize. And, and I'm kind of surprised how it's just things in such a tight clump, because this is this is supposed to be able to get up to about a foot in diameter and get up past 100 feet. I would have assumed that it'd be able to upsize a lot better than this, but. It's definitely getting bigger this season, but not by a whole lot. So these new combs, I guess some of them are a little more than an inch in diameter, but I don't think, really see them getting any more than 12 or 13 feet. Whereas on the other side, I have my Dendrochromus Asper. This is not the black one. I do have the black one it's still in a pot, which I've actually sold many divisions of. Here's the whole area, and looking back, as far as the clump itself, all the previous growth is no more than 8-9 feet, even with the tallest combs. It takes up just about the same amount of space, it's actually shorter than the than Johalma Sinicus right now, but not for long. And the one reason is because it's got these two massive shoots. Like these shoots are probably, I'd say they're about one and three quarters of an inch in diameter. And they're literally more than twice as big as the previous ones, which were less than an inch in diameter. And I'd say both of them are pretty similar in size. But yeah, <laughs> like on the side of it, you can actually see these little brown hairs, so when they're coming up like this, they actually appear brown, especially at the base. And even at the top, uh, this guy right here, it's already over six feet. And I have uh, one on the other side, so there's only two of them coming up right now. And it's actually a better thing to not have too many shoots. And you can literally see the size comparison. The one right next to it is basically the second biggest shoot from before. And it's also got the brown color. This one came up first and this guy's a little bit over seven feet right now. It's already breaking the canopy of the previous growth. So and it still has a whole lot left to go. I'm thinking these will probably end up 15 to 20 feet tall because it doesn't even look like at more than 7 feet that's halfway fully grown. Pretty impressive. And expect such an upsize. And I actually didn't know this until today. But there's actually another shoot coming up right here. guy's only maybe a little over two feet tall. Doesn't look like it's going to be quite as big as in diameter as 
those first two, but it's still gonna be pretty big. I mean, this is pretty exciting because this basically means that this bamboo is gonna be a lot taller than it was in a month or so. Here's a farther take. It's definitely going to, in another week, be way above the canopy with these new shoots. And this is a Dendrocalmus Asper Black or Hitam Bamboo. And I've actually already sold off uh, quite a few divisions. I think I sold off four of them already. And it's got the tag right here. And I actually took this division off about three weeks ago. And as expected, there's going to be some dieback just like here. But it looks like a lot of foliage is hanging in there. Well, some of it is actually dying back a little bit, but... I don't really see any problems because right down here it's got a nice shoot. It's not really big but it's definitely a shoot and once that grows out it can make up for all the loss from the original comb. And where this came off is right here. This is my original big division which I got almost an entire year ago, which almost died. It was down to literally two leaves. And well, the previous division that I just showed came off, it was literally on this side. I took it off because there was another one growing on this side. And I'm using this wire just to keep it a little bit straighter. I don't think I really need it anymore. I can take it off, but it just made this comb about a month or so ago. And this comb is definitely starting to branch out and it's starting to leaf out too. And it's full height. I'm thinking it's probably around 8 feet minus the pot. So, yeah. It's definitely taller than the previous one by a little bit. A little bit thicker too. But I'm thinking the next comb that comes up is probably going to merge out of here, the next shoot. I think it's probably going to take about two weeks or so. And since it's got so much energy, it's probably going to be up to an inch or even a little bit more in diameter. But, yeah. And as far as turning black, I'm finding it starts turning black from the top, like in the branches, like right here. And it seems like this starting to have some blackness starting for right here too. So within another month or so, I believe this comb is going to show a lot more black. So it's just a matter of time before they darken up. This one's not quite, this is really new. When they're really new, they don't really turn much black. They stay green for a little bit. And this is a 30 gallon pot. You can actually have another 2 3 combs and still be fine, but one important thing is if they're not planting the ground yet, it's important to have a really good watering tray that holds moisture will also dry up really quick in the hot sun. So this will last a few days. Because the roots can literally go down there and draw in the water. This uh, Dendro Crown was asked to hit it's definitely one of the better bamboos that you can grow in a tropical climate. It's got really strong wood, it's edible, and it grows in a really tight clump. And let's say in terms of well, looks, yeah, appearance, it's probably one of the better looking ones. It's because of its elegant form.